I read a story like an, an essay, I think, uh, a couple of months ago about the, that uh, uh, quantum computing may be losing its relevance and its applicability just because generative AI can already do so many of the tasks that were initially considered to be uh, only doable through quantum. Is this an argument that you have uh, heard uh, uh, already and is there, do you have any take on it? Yes, of course. I, I mean, I've heard the argument and there are always skeptics um, and it's good mm -hmm. that there are skeptics because you need to challenge the technology also to make sure that it develops in the right direction. Um, but I think there are a few aspects. One is that even if AI could do everything, it consumes actually a lot of power and it's, it's very big machines, very big computers that we uh, use there. Mm -hmm. So actually it would be great if we had alternatives on the processor side that help actually reducing the power consumption and also make it maybe more affordable. And this is something where quantum computers can help because they are uh, much more energy efficient than big supercomputers. But then there are still tasks actually which are very complex by nature, not very big. AI usually is based on the fact that you train these very large models, mm -hmm. so there's huge amount of data involved. Quantum computing actually addresses different types of problems. Problems which are very complex from a mathematical point of view, but where the problem size is not that big. So the travel, traveling salesman actually is a good example. You don't need that many kind of rivers and bridges um, to create a problem uh, that is very hard to solve to find the optimal path that you want to go. Um, it's really on the order of tens um, and from this perspective there will always be a room for quantum computers to solve these very complex problems.